Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe and like the videos, turn on your notification bells. We're just having a lot of fun over here, making videos, chatting, whatever. Anyhow, let's talk favorites. So I wasn't quite sure how to go into a favorites video and then I kind of got an idea. I was like, I have this tote that I use for my daily makeup um, that I keep just all in one little toe and I thought let's go through it. Let's see what I'm liking um, Let's see what I'm re like occurring using all the time Reoccurring using all the time. That doesn't make sense. Anyhow, let's go through the toe I did put some things in there just because I don't keep it in my tote, but I do use it daily and I'm loving it. So This is my trusty tote that I kind of keep at my um, Bathroom sink where I get ready it's a little vanity sink. Um, I keep it in the drawer. That way it can be a little less cluttery because me and my husband do share that space and I want it to be as livable <laughs> as it possibly can be for both of us. So I just kind of keep my daily products in here, use it, yada, yada, yada. Let's go through it and see what's in there and see what I use all the time that I'm really loving. This is going to be fun. Also, I really love Naked Winery. That's what I'm drinking today. Okay. Oh, first things first. So this is my Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Me and my husband both use this. It just keeps your skin refreshed, um, vibrant. It helps clear up acne. It, this is just such a go-to. You get this big bottle for $30. I love this stuff and cannot live without it. I've gone through, we've gone through probably three bottles of this go-to everyday use love it what next oh another thing I threw in there that I don't use um, it's not makeup but I use it pretty much every day is this Aussie bounce back dry shampoo I love this dry shampoo I was using another brand and I ran out and I was in a pinch so I went to the store I bought some of this phenomenal it actually keeps because I get really oily really quick my face is oily my hair is oily um, this actually does prevent it and I use it on clean hair so like uh, I washed my hair last night today I styled it and I put my dry shampoo in before it gets oily and it helps absorb the oils versus trying to mask the oils with it oh for when I do wear false lashes duo duo is my favorite lash lash glue I've tried many um, this has just always been a staple. It's affordable. It works good. It dries down good. It stays all day. Duo. I think everybody knows about Duo and probably has Duo and uses Duo. So, hey, Duo, thank you. We all love you, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Fuck if oh. I know. My Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge. This is one of my go-tos. I've been using them for your probably a year at least, if not longer. They're about six bucks, $5.99. Sometimes go on sale, but they're very affordable. They work great, they're soft. Um, whenever my sponge gets any rip or tear, that's when I replace it. I've never tried a beauty blender because they are $20 and that just kind of seems like an awful lot for something that I know that I throw out about every other month or every third month. I don't know, it's not like a brush that you clean and keep. I would like to try them, but it's kind of expensive for my budget. So real techniques is what I use So there's that What else is in here? Oh, okay primers. Let's talk primers So two of my favorite primers that I like using is the Too Faced um, Hangover RX primer don't know the price. I'll probably maybe just do like a price thing on uh, Some of this maybe I've, I probably won't let's be honest the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, I really like this. It is soft, it's kind of tacky, so your makeup will stick to it or your foundation will stick to it, and it smells good, I like it. As far as longevity, I don't know that anything really makes a difference, but I do like this primer. And then for mattifying primer, I love the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I use this in my T-zone and then like maybe a little bit on my chin because I'm oily. Love it. It doesn't mess with the makeup. Well, if you don't let it sit for a little bit, just like even a couple minutes, sometimes it will mess with like your makeup and blend with the makeup and I don't like that. 
However, but if I let it sit for maybe two or three minutes, I'm fine going with my makeup. Love it, works great. I'm in, I'm not going in any particular order because literally everything's like kind of thrown into this little toe and it is what it is. These um, NYX, what are they? What are they? NYX Inner Eye Brighteners. These are amazing. They're about six bucks. You put them on your lower lash line. They stay all day which is just baffling to me because especially I tear up a so, lot base uh, my all-time favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Paris infallible pro glow I can't live my life without this foundation it's dewy it wears throughout the day like it does break down but it doesn't break down in such a way that it's so noticeable like it still looks good on the skin you can bounce it out with your beauty sponge and or dab it with like a tissue or a blotting paper and it still looks really good this is just like it sucks that they're not like cruelty free however i just i love it it works great and then another one if i want to kind of like mat it up for the day i will mix it with my what is this naked skin urban decay weightless ultra definition liquid makeup when i mix these two I just love it it's still dewy a little bit more full coverage whereas this is like medium but you can kind of build up and then like correct um so a little bit more full coverage with the two mixed together i love these so these have been staples i don't use this enough to know because i have problems with breaking out getting very bad pustules so i don't try to like change my foundation too much because i don't like that they hurt they're painful it's just not worth it I don't use this I don't think enough to know if that does that to me but this definitely does not and that's why I stick to it because I don't end up with all those breakouts okay so let's talk concealers so I love the ColourPop no filter concealers so 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 much they to me are pretty much medium to full coverage they can I think some people have compared them to Tarte Tarte shape tape however uh, six bucks and not as drying as like Tarte Shape Tape. I just, for me, it just makes my under eyes, the Tarte Shape Tape makes my under eyes so crepey. It just isn't worth it. It's so dry. And I use medium 24 in this guy because it has like a peachy, it's like almost gone or it's I'd swatch it, but I don't have enough to swatch it to show you guys. Like I need that. And until I repurchase more, I'm not gonna waste it but it has a peachy undertone, so it helps correct blue um, pigmentation that I have under my eyes, and it's a little bit more full, a little bit more dry. I wouldn't say like dries out, but a little bit more dry. And so I mix it with my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. So this is in CW03. This is also peachy because I just like to use anything peachy under my eyes because I do have those blue tones and I do have some shallowing to help kind of correct that without having to use a color corrector. So I, these are my two everyday tried and trues. These with the L'Oreal Infallible, well, this with the L'Oreal Infallible I've been using for years. Like it's just go-tos I use all the time. What sucks about this is that it is affordable, but it's very minimal product. What does it say for product on here? So this is five grams and this is 0.11 ounces, three grams. So you get quite a bit less in these. So that kind of sucks because I burn through these so quick, but I like them. So I spend the money on it. When you're 35, sometimes you end up spending money on things like, sorry, I have no choice. So I am in love with this Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer Palette. I mainly use these two shades in it, um, but smells heavenly. I Well, actually, I've used more. I've used more, but these are my two favorite shades out of it, I would say. Smells good. Works great. It's not too patchy. Works for my skin tone is all I can say. I don't know. I guess I could look to see if they have, like, different options for different shade tones i haven't looked into that i think i got this in like a boxy lux so that's why i do have it um but it works great i love it and then another one that i just got which is sunset strip tees by wet and wild this bronzer right here is just different than any other bronzer 
I got it for, and I think I did a video with like the first reviews. So it takes quite a bit of building up, but it leaves like this, like not a shimmer, but a golden sheen and just very youthful look to your skin that I love. So I just got this. I'm so excited to use this for summer just to be just like my glowy goddess self. Like I really, really, really like this. And I think it was like three bucks, four bucks. It doesn't have a smell, but such a good bronze. Brows. We'll do brows. So brows. This um, NYX Eye Brow Gel has been my go-to for the past maybe year, year and a half, two years. I don't know. It will stay on literally all night, all day, all night. Through if you sleep in your makeup, it'll stay on. Like sometimes, like certain cleansers that I've tried, couldn't even get this off. Like I love this, and I do think that it's a pretty healthy dupe for the ABH Dip Brow. I use this now, and it's in my one of my favorites because these two mixed together, I really like the color. This is a little bit more emollient and it kind of slips around a little bit more tricky to use. Um, but people love it. Don't get me wrong. But th this, like if this were to dry out, this is what you have. And I think this stays longer, but mixed together, this is my brow. That's my everyday brow. Love it. I'm, I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. These two are a win. Oh, let's do blush and then mascaras. So, Laura Geller, this is the Baked Blush in Brighton. I love this blush. It is glowy, it is pink, it is everything that I want in a blush. It is just pretty. The packaging's fine, it's lightweight, you can travel with it. I love this blush. Once, I mean, who goes through a blush completely? But if I do go through this completely, I will buy it again. It is my favorite blush. Mascaras, so I have here, the Tarte Big Ego, the Mega Volume Wet n Wilds, and the Grande Mascara. These are my three favorite mascaras, I think, of all time. I love these mascaras. I'm not getting everybody, mascara is kind of personal, whether you want it like bunchy, this and that. I'm not gonna get into it. These are just my top three, that's that. Done. So the next item I have, I needed a new flat iron. I'm not a hair pro, but I do my hair like most people. I got this Paul Mitchell flat iron at Ulta. Sorry, Rufflin. I got this Paul Mitchell flat iron in rose gold from um, Ulta. It's on sale right now. I think I paid uh, 60 bucks maybe. I don't know, but I love this flat iron. It works amazingly. I feel like my curls even stay longer than my other flat iron. Also, my other flat iron was old, so it was kind of broke down, so I don't know. But I do like this, and if you're in the market for a new flat iron, this one right here could be really good for you. Um, it works. It's cute. I'm not a fashionista. I, my fashion sucks, in fact. Like, I have no sense of fashion. I literally dress like my sweats, leggings, sweater, whatever. I don't care. But I got these shoes. They are by Fergalicious, which Fergie, the artist. These shoes right here, the sticker's still stuck on them, are so cute. Uh, you can do them, like I wore them to my holiday party with um, like some pleather pants and a sweater but with jeans and a black shirt, jeans and a mauve shirt. You can't see on camera, but like it almost pulls some mauve tones. These little booties right here, I love them. Definitely a favorite. I'm so glad I got them. Whew, I am out of breath. Last but not least, my friend gifted me a um, skincare refrigerator, and I'm not sure where she got it, but this bad boy, I emptied it out. I just got it, used it, emptied it out. This bad boy is amazing. If you think that you don't need one of these in your life, that's fine. But you do. It has a couple little shelves, a little thing there. Look at this. So cute. I love it. There's nothing better than getting out of a hot shower and like spritzing some cold toner on your face and just like the cooling effect of your under eye cream. Love it, love it, love it so much. It's just, it's got to be in here, right? That's all the stuff I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, putting up with my shit. I appreciate you being here. Like, subscribe. If you like what I'm doing here, hit the notification bell. Thank you. Have a good day.